Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna take shots that look like this and use a filter to make them look like this. And that filter is the Tiffin Smoke Two. I've been wanting to make a video about diffusion filters for a while and recently discovered the smoke line of filters from Tiffin. And I've been playing around with them and just have a lot of interesting findings that I wanna share with you guys. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Tiffin. I did purchase all of these filters. That said, this video is supported by those of you who have purchased our camera guides and LUTs. Check the links in the description to learn more and thank you guys so much for the support and helping me keep sponsors off of the channel. Like the very popular Black Pro Mist, the the smoke filter is a diffusion filter from Tiffin. It comes in four different strengths, one, two, three, and four. The filter that I purchased is the Smoke 2, which seems to be kind of a nice medium middle ground, not too weak, definitely not as strong as four. And while I would have loved to have all the filters to talk about today, it's just way too expensive. So we're just gonna be taking a look at the Smoke 2, but I will be comparing it to the Black Pro Mist and one of my favorite diffusion filters of all time, the Glimmer Glass. So let's look at some shots shots using this filter. So here we have just a basic desk shot using no filter at all. Now I will add the smoke filter and there's kind of a haziness brought across the entire shot. Here I have the actual filter itself and if I turn it you can kind of see when I put it in front of this second camera what happens to the image. It kind of has a milky kind of ground glass effect that really does make it look like there's smoke in the room. Now, a lot of you are going to be wondering what the difference is between this filter and something like a Black Pro Mist, which is incredibly popular. And for that, I'm going to actually do a comparison between the Black Pro Mist, the Glimmer Glass, and the Smoke Filter. One fantastic resource when it comes to these types of filters is the Diffusion Triangle Chart from Tiffin. On this triangle, you can see all of Tiffin's different diffusion filters, and there are three corners, including Halation increase, resolution reduction, and contrast reduction. All of Tiffin's filters are landing somewhere in this triangle. And this is a fantastic resource when you're trying to understand what these filters do. Halation is going to be the glowiness around bright objects. And that's what the Black Pro Mist is known for. And you can see it right there all the way in that corner as a really strong halation filter. Contrast reduction is going to lower your contrast. So bring your highlights down, bring your shadows up, and we can see the smoke filter is over there. And then finally, we have resolution reduction. This is going to soften up your image and really take those sharp edges and smooth them over. So it's important to understand what filters are near that because if you have a soft lens, you really don't wanna soften it up further. So the three filters we're going to be comparing is this smoke filter, the Black Pro Mist, and one of my favorites, the Glimmer Glass. We'll also be stacking them together to see what kind of different combinations we can get by using these different filter characteristics to create super custom looks. So let's dive straight in and take a look at a comparison. So here's a shot of me sitting at this very desk with no filter applied. Next, we have Glimmer Glass. And as we can see, we have reduced our contrast. Now you can do some corrections to this in post and we're gonna talk about that. So keep that in mind. I'm using the same exact grading across all of these shots, but you can totally correct these things. So we can see there's a more milkiness to the entire shot shadows are higher up and highlights have been brought down slightly. Then we have the infamous Black Pro Mist and I'm using the 1 8 strength. And as you can see side by side with the Glimmer Glass, it's still very strong. So this is the strongest filter of these three. So using a Black Pro Mist 1 8 is similar to a Glimmer Glass 1. So keep that in mind, it's really important to understand. When comparing Glimmer Glass and Black Pro Mist, you might think they look somewhat similar, but a big difference is going to be halation. Zooming in on my skin, you'll notice that when I'm moving around, the area or the wall behind me actually looks like it's glowing. So whatever has a lot of brightness in your scene will glow. And if that object moves, it's going to look like a wholly glowing angelic being, which is maybe not something you want. That's why I really dig the glimmer glass because you get a similar effect of lowering contrast and diffusing the image and diffusing your highlights, but it's not going to give you that glow effect. Finally, we have the smoke two filter. This filter is going to give us a nice low contrast across the entire image. Whereas the other two are mainly going to be in certain parts of the image like highlights. This one is just across the board uniformly giving us a really nice milky, creamy, hazy look. So, so far these filters while different are all somewhat similar, but things change completely when you change up the lighting environment. For example, here's a shot of me using 
a small phone light on camera. And when we have no filter, it's nothing special. But when we apply these filters, things start to get pretty interesting. The glimmer glass is going to add a little bit of halation as well as diffusing that light. The black promis will do that, but even on a stronger scale. And then the smoke filter does some wild stuff. As you can see here, we have a huge glow around the entire light. You'll also notice when you use these filters, there is a small little secondary blob of light moving around. And that's just the nature of the beast when you add glass in front of your lens. But keep in mind, this is mainly when you have direct light going into the lens. So if you're in a set like this, you shouldn't have too many issues. And this brings me to mixing and matching filters. And this is a really fun way to grab various characteristics from these filters and use them all together. So let's go back to that desk shot and we're going to take the smoke filter and add the black pro mist filter. So what this is going to do is lower the contrast by a lot thanks to the smoke filter, but we're also going to be adding a lot more halation because of the black pro mist. So this shot as an example just looks incredible to me. I love the way it looks. It's super duper moody, really thick, hazy look. This looks really cool when you're filming objects that aren't moving or there's no people in the shot because for me when you add a skin that is bright and that black pro mist things start to get kind of weird that's where i'm really digging the glimmer glass mixed with the smoke filter because we're going to get the low contrast from the smoke and the glimmer glass is going to give us just enough halation and a little bit of softening on sharp lenses and it just looks in my opinion really, really great. And when your head moves around and it's well lit like I am here, you don't get that holy glow coming off of people's skin. Finally, here are all the shots lined up so you can get an idea of what things look like. Now you might look at this and say, wow, what a mess. You're destroying your contrast in your image by adding all of this stuff in front of your lens. But keep in mind, this is the same exact grade applied across all the different shots. If I go ahead and grade those, you can see we can still get a really fantastic image, but we're adding those little characteristics. And this is what we're trying to achieve here. We're still getting a really well graded image, but now we've added these custom elements of the haze from the smoke filter and the halation and softening effect of the glimmer glass. If you wanna check out these filters, I'll have them down in the description. And there are three other videos I'd recommend you watch if you wanna to continue to learn about filtration, specifically diffusion filters. And these videos really helped me figure out which filter to purchase. So the first is going to be an awesome dude, GX Ace over on YouTube. He has a great video talking about the glimmer glass filter. And that's what sold me and had me switch over from the Black Promise. And I have never turned back. I love that filter. Next, if you wanna see what the smoke filter looks like on steroids, there's a great video by Ben and Jack Studio where they take a smoke three and show it off. And that'll give you a great idea of how crazy this thing looks when you amp up the strength. Next, there's a channel I recently discovered called Filter Boy. He also has a great video talking about the Tiffin smoke two and three, and also does some filter mixing. So a great channel if you wanna get into filters. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. This is a very expensive thing to do tests on because these filters get pretty expensive when you're using the larger sizes. But I've had a lot of fun. I think the Smoke 2 mixed with a Glimmer Glass 1 is a fantastic combination to get a really unique look without crazy halation like you would get on the Black Promise. And if all of this is too strong, keep in mind, you can get really, really nice and low strengths of these. So a Smoke 1 mixed with a Glimmer Glass eighth or quarter or something like that would give you just a little bit of that look without being too overpowering. So that's gonna wrap this one up. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.